Man that is born of a woman has but a short time to live, and is cut down like a flower. He flees as it were a shadow, and never continues in one stay. In the midst of life we are in death, of whom we may seek for comfort, but of you, O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Yet, O Lord, God most holy, O Lord most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. You know, O Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not your merciful ears to our prayer, but spare us. Lord most holy, O God most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior, most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall from you. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of the world the soul of our dearly departed sister, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection on the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth, and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who die in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right from henceforth, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so says the Spirit, for they shall rest from their labors. 
Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us repeat the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And to the family, don't think of her as gone away. Her journey's just begun. Life holds so many phases that this earth is only one. Think of her as living in the hearts of those she's touched. For someone's love is never lost. And around the hood was love very, very much. On behalf of the staff and management of Crawford Fenner Home, we'd like to present your family with this small token of love. May God be with each of you, and we love you. Please accept this on behalf of her family. And my friends, this does include the funeral services of Mrs. Rhonda Jean Hood. We'd like to give a special thanks to our chaplain, Reverend Marcus Tabula, to the guest ministers, and to each of you who took part in this services. My friends, the casket will be lowered, covered, and the flower will be placed as soon as possible. And we're asking you to please do not disturb anything upon this grave site. On behalf of my staff and I, I'd like to thank you for your cooperation, and may God continue to bless each of you. And at this time, we'd like to join the family and the clergy. This is a tribute and loving memory of Miss Rhonda Jean Hood as we set her soul free. And as it is written, if I had wings like a dove, I would stretch them to fly away to be at rest with my Lord. Another soul has taken flight. Amen. Amen. Miss Hood, may you and all of your family be wrapped in her fine memories forever. And we love all of y'all. And now let us look to be dismissed. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth and forevermore. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen.